Another thing that you were asked to do in the in the um, current assignment, you were asked to create a, um, a simple Hello World React application, the boilerplate application, and to follow the instructions here. I believe I believe a lot of you have already completed this. Uh, I'll just I just like to demonstrate real quick. Uh, let me get started here. Uh, you'll you'll need to this is this is so that you'll be ready for the upcoming assignment later on this Friday. Uh, since it'll focus on user interfaces and we'd like for you to have already the infrastructure already set up so that we can you know we can hit the ground running uh, so let me uh, you'll, you'll need to install node.js and, and when you install node.js you'll you'll get uh, npm and npm is a um, is a, uh, a package manager that allows you to install all sorts of libraries in this particular case uh, you're asked to um, you're, you're asked to uh, uh, to install one particular command line interface by Facebook that allows you to create boilerplate React applications. Uh, let me use uh, Node version 10, and uh, and let me see that uh, we go to CS 4500, uh, 2009, Spring, and Section 3. And here, so down here, the, here was the application that we built. We've been playing around for the last couple of, of weeks, right? That's the Java side, the Java middle tier. We're going to create a React application that talks to that middle tier. Right? It's a very common architecture today where you have a front end that uses a middle tier to retrieve data and then dynamically renders it. So let's, uh, let's create these, this application. Oh, I already did. I already did that. Let me let me create the application. I'll call it CS4500 SP19 uh, Section 3. Um, this is a a client, and it's a React client, as opposed to maybe Amber or Angular or whatever. So that's going to start start going. Uh, let me just give you just a uh, 25 words or less on React. Uh, so React, I, I think I, I, I saw maybe a third of you or maybe half of you know about React. Um, sorry if I bore you. Uh, so React is uh, just a JavaScript uh, library that uh, implements a particular way of building uh, front-end uh, applications and um, uh, that, that has become very popular uh, as of late. Uh, Single-page applications where uh, you can dynamically render the, 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 the content um, on the client as opposed to perhaps on the server, right? A, a server side uh, a content generation uh, became very popular at the turn of the century, you know, using PHP and Python and, uh, um, and all these server side technologies, ASP, JSPs, right? Uh, today is, um, uh, it's, it's very, it's, instead has become very popular to do most of that rendering uh, on, the, on the client side. And instead using the server side only for data. You know, where you, you use uh, technology such as Ajax to go fetch this data uh, dynamically uh, on, the, on the back, uh, uh, um, behind the scenes, and then use that content, that data, to then dynamically render the content. Um, so yeah, so uh, React has become very, very popular. Uh, let's, uh, let's go in there. Oops. Uh, React, no, client, there we go. Uh, so yeah, so this this uh, application we can start it up and running, uh, unless I have something already running at that port. Let me see. Yes, no, maybe. There we go. All right. So this is the boilerplate application, and this is what you're asked to deploy uh, to Heroku uh, by following the instructions. There, we have instructions to do just that. Uh, that uh, we can npm start and run it. And uh, we also ask you to push it to a GitHub repository and share that with us. And let's do that. Let's deploy this to Heroku. So git init, so initializes it. And we're going to add the entire content here. And we're going to just commit this to our local repository. And then we're just going to push it to Heroku. When you create this on Heroku, it's going to parse the, doc the, uh, the current directory and is going to realize that this is a React application that, and that it needs Node.js right, for it to host this uh, little application here. 
Uh, it also creates for us a, a, um, a, random, a, uh, a random location for it, uh, giving us you know, Young Coast 58921. We can rename this. Uh, I forget how to rename it. Just a second. Yeah, this is my cheat sheet. You can rename your application by saying, you know, Heroku apps colon rename. I don't want that bogus name. Uh, instead, I'm going to use the name, the same name that I used here. Uh, I'll call it um, section three, and this will be maybe uh, React uh, JGA. Or, yeah. Yeah, React JGA. There we go. So I'll rename it like that. Uh, and and now, now that we've renamed it, we can, we can open up Heroku. Actually, no, not yet. We have to deploy it. Uh, where is it? We're going to push the entire thing to Heroku's master. Uh, and as it, as, it, as it deploys to Heroku, as, it, as it's copying to the remote repository, Heroku is going to parse the, uh, the, the, the content of the file. It's going to realize, looking at package JSON, it's a local directory, it's a local, it's a local file. It's going to realize that this is a node application. It's going to install node. It's going to install all the libraries listed in package JSON, uh, including you know, React and all the libraries are, uh, referenced in there. Uh, and it's going to compile, build, and, uh, and deploy this and make the application available at the location we just, uh, we just renamed, right? CS 4500 and whatnot. So while that's going, uh, we can, uh, let's see, can we can copy this. Uh, it's pushing, it's downloading node modules. Node modules is where all the libraries are copied to in the local directory, in that particular local directory. Let's see. Taking a while. Yes, no. Build success. Discovering the process. It's it's web web build pack. Compressing. And 71 megabytes. And there, we, and there we go. Notice that it's available at that location. There it is, right? If we um, if we type uh, Heroku open, it'll open it up. It'll navigate to that to that uh, URL. And we will see our our application deployed, and this is what eventually, at some point, maybe now, yeah, this is what you you should you should um, uh, you should copy this URL, right? And as an organization, this is one of your your uh, your releases, your your um, deliverables. All right, so copy this. Uh, obviously, you're also asked to. Um, uh, deploy, uh, copy all this to, your, uh, to a GitHub repository. Right? It'll, have, it'll have to be a brand new GitHub repository. Right? Make sure you're, that you invite everybody to that repository in the organization, all your TAs, all, myself, also part of Heroku. Please invite all the TAs, right, myself, right, so that uh, we can uh, help you, uh, help you go, go, go through this. All right? All right, awesome. Uh, let's see. Let's uh, open up that application that we just built. Let's see, let's close that. And let's open up the application we just created. It's in 4500, 2019 Sprint, Section 3. And there it is. If we open it up, uh, we'll notice that the entry point of the application is, is right here, app.js. That's the entry point of the application. Well, really, index.js, but I'm not going to get into that. This, this is the entry point. Uh, and uh, what React allows you to do is is uh, is, uh, cr is create or abstract behavior and and user interfaces uh, around new new uh, elements, new HTML elements that you can create yourself. Here it maps to this jo 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 this JavaScript class called app, and and it's called the same way the the, the tag that it generates. So this is the content that we're looking at that is, has been deployed. Uh, here, right? So locally, it's um, oh, we don't have it locally, do we? Oh yeah, there it is. This this oh, it's 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 down. Let me let me run it again. npm npm start.
There it is. So this is the, uh, the, the content of that application. And notice that here it says edit source app.js. And that's where we are in source app.js. And notice the content. There it is. It's edit right, source app.js. So it's that, this over here. So we're looking at the right, right content. And here you can, you can just, uh, um, just throw away the, uh, the content that was there originally. If you save, you save that, it recompiles. Right? It redeploys locally. And here you can just start typing and creating your own content, right? So hello world, right? And it, 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 it compiles and you see a change right away. So what you're going to be asked to do, right, is uh, is each one of you, uh, it, uh, this, go, there's going to be one app. From this one app, there will be several links that go to different things that each student created. Right? One student might have created a list of users. One list might have created a form that edits a, um, a service. Another student might have created a list of frequently asked questions. So this app should be your landing page. Yes? Uh, and, uh, and there'll be links that will navigate to the different components. Yes? So that, uh, so that then the TAs might come and quickly navigate to your organization application, click on the URLs and see that it's working. Yes? And give you credit for it. Make sense? All right. So that's, that's the assignment that's coming up. And uh, we'll go through it in more detail on Friday. All right.